Good morning children. This is your teacher Shikha. English grade 2 lesson real and imaginary. I am going to tell you about the English lesson block 1 real and imaginary. Children we are going to share a story of Anya, the princess and the dragon. We are going to see how real and imaginary elements go together in this story. I am sure you are going to enjoy this story. This story is about Anya, the princess. The beautiful princess. Let's see how the story goes. Children, open your book. The title of the story is Anya and the Dragon. And the writer of the story is Soumya Rajendra. Who is the writer of the story? Soumya Rajendra. Very good. Let's see. And what happens in the story? In a land. Children, have you opened your book? Please open your book. Page number 10. Yes. In a land far away, there lived an old dragon dragon he was kept chained in the king's palace everyone was scared of him scared can you read the spelling of scared s c a r e d perfect everyone was scared of this dragon are you scared of the dragon? <laughs> the dragon was lonely and sad. Tell me, tell me, why dragon was lonely and sad? Because he was chained. Right. He wanted to fly in the sky. The chains on his feet hurt him. But what could he do? He could not do anything because he was chained. That was the problem, right? Hmm. Late one night, the dragon was sleeping, fast asleep, when he heard something. What? He heard some noise. Can you hear? he heard. He opened his eyes. Sleepily, it was Princess Anya. Who? Yes, it was the beautiful Princess Anya. Her left leg was shorter than her right leg. She had to walk with Crutches, crutches. Can you see the sound? Can you read the spelling of crutches? C R U T C H E S. Perfect. So she had to walk with crutches. Will you give me a right? On your back, asked Anya. She told the dragon how she could not ride horses like her brothers did. The king would not let her because of her crutches. She was not able to ride the horses and that was her wish. That looks like, yes? Hmm. I know 
where the keys to your chains are kept, she, she said. How? Oh, she knows where are the keys of the chains lock, where the king has put the keys. Oh my God, my father keeps them in his cupboard. My God, the girl is imagining, she is thinking something about her dragon friend. That means she liked the dragon. Aren't you afraid of me? Ask the dragon. Children, are you reading with me? Please, please, please read your book so that you can learn and go through with all the spellings. Dragon asked, aren't you afraid of me? Asked the dragon. No, said the brave princess. You have kind eyes. The dragon smiled. That night, Anya went to the dragon with the keys. She did that. She took off his chains. My God, Anya removed his chains. The dragon stretched its wings. Oh my God, its wings open. It stretched. It feels so good. Dragon was so happy. They flew high. And lo, they flew near the moon and over the stars. They flew near the moon and over the stars. Anya, are you enjoying the ride with your dragon friend? Yes. When they came back, the king was standing there. Oops, the king was standing there. I saw you, said the king. Anya was scared. Anya was scared. So was the dragon. Yes, even dragon because king had chained him. So he wasn't so scared of king. But the king smiled. Why he smiled? Because parents love their children. But the king smiled. I have never seen you so happy, Anya. He said, from now on, you can ride the dragon. Hey, king was so happy. To see the smile on his pretty princess daughter Anya's face. And he said that she can ride the dragon. Wow! He took the keys from Anya and threw them into the pond. Pond, P, O, N, D. The dragon smiled. He was free of, at last he was free. And he had a friend too. And even Anya had a friend, the dragon friend. Anya got dragon friend. Dragon got princess Anya friend. Yes, children. Did you like the story? The story of Princess Anya and Dragon. I'm sure I like the story. So even you must, must have liked the story. You should read the story again and again with the help of your parents so that you can go through the spellings and the words carefully. Let's read the main words. Crutches. 
we need to see what crutches are. You remember? Because Anya Anya's left leg was shorter than her right leg, so she was using crutches. Children, can you make a sentence with this word? I am making one sentence. You can read it in the book. The old man had to use crutches after his accident. So, you can try and make another sentence. Lonely means alone. Let's make the sentence. Read the book. She felt lonely when her friends left. Pond. The body of water smaller than a lake. I saw a frog in the pond near my house. Scared. To be afraid of. The little boy was scared to be alone in the dark. Stretched. Made long or wide without tearing or breaking. The cat yawned and stretched. Children, there are practice question on the next page. You have to go through them and solve. Write all the answers. What did Anya use to walk? Second question. Where did the king keep the keys? Oh, I remember. I remember. Anya, you had said, na? you had told about it, right? Why was the dragon sad? Ah, Anya, you got the keys of that thing, na? Because of that, he was sad, right? Mm. What did the dragon do after the princess removed the chains? What did stretched? Yes. Is this story real or imaginary? This answer you have to tell me. Even you must be having some imaginary stories, right? Then there's a true or false exercise. Read and do that. Chain one, two, many. That also is very easy. I think you can do it on your own. I would like to see your worksheet. Write real or imaginary. You can do that. Making words. Imagine that you have found a magic lamp. Imagine, again imagine. In your garden, magic lamp in the garden. Think of three things that you would do with it. Oh my God, if. I will find a magic lamp in the garden. What three things I will do? I am also thinking. You share, then I will also share. Okay? Children, read the story again and again. And enjoy reading. Stay fit. Stay happy. See you soon in our school. Bye-bye.